Hi beautiful people, this is Pimelo. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you are welcome as well. On this video, I'll be talking about the different and the alternative ways to get into medical school at UCT. I'll also be sharing some insight on how to get into medical school even after your application has been rejected. Before we get into it, I'd like to ask you to subscribe, like and share this video. The courses offered at the Faculty of Health Sciences at UCT are Bachelor of Surgery and Medicine, Occupational Therapy, Physiotherapy, Audiology, Speech Language Pathology, and higher certificate in disability practice but here specifically i'll be talking about mbchp and how to transfer from all the other faculty of health sciences courses into mbchp i'll also be talking about how to transfer from another tertiary institution into mbchp it takes a lot of hard work to make it into medical school and we know that UCT has high standards in terms of its selection criteria into who makes it into medical school. The reality is there are only 500 spaces available in the Faculty of Health Sciences at UCT. UCT receives quite a large volume of applications, thousands and thousands of applications, yet it only accepts 240 students into MBCHP. So you can quite imagine how high the competition is to make it into medical school. But at the end of the day, there is still hope. The MBCHP program takes six years to complete. After graduating, you will then complete two years of internship. After that, you'll complete one year of community service. After that, you'll then be allowed by the HPCSA to practice as a medical doctor. So let's start with the perspective of you being in high school, right, in metric. You will apply with your final grade 11 results. You will also apply with your either term 1, term 2 or term 3 metric results. You will also apply with your NBT results. In terms of NBTs, you have to take both the academic and quantitative literacy test and the mathematics one. When applying, you have to make MBCHB as your first choice on the application options. Your second choice, you will either take physiotherapy, um, OT, or other Faculty of Health Sciences courses. All of these contribute towards your faculty point score or your APS, which is calculated by the university. When you get your results on the following year, the university will assess your performance on your grade 12 final results. They'll also assess your performance on your NBTs. They'll also compare your overall performance to the other applicants. They will then come to a conclusion of whether to accept you or to reject you. And if you do get accepted, congratulations, well done. And if you do get rejected, I advise you not to give up yet. I mean, it is worth trying because there are many ways to make it. One of the options is going back to metric and rewriting your exams and hoping that you'll do better on your exams and reapply again to medical school at GCT. And hopefully they take you, but that comes with advantages and disadvantages. Advantages are that you might improve on your grade 12 final results, you might do well, and the university could accept you. But the downside of it is that you might not do that well, and the university could reject you again, which is something that we do not want. You could find that you met the minimum requirements to get into medical school, but meeting the minimum requirements is not enough. Let me be honest with you, that is not enough. You need to get more than the minimum requirements. So let's say you have applied for physiotherapy, occupational therapy, audiology, and all the other programs of Faculty of Health Sciences that I have mentioned as your second or your third choice. What you can then do is that you can then enroll and register with the university for those programs that I have mentioned. After that, you will then apply again to enter into MBCHP. But this time you will not have to rewrite the NBTs. 
So when your results come out at the end of the year, um, the university will use your metric results. It will also combine the, your metric results with your tertiary final year results um, in the degree or in the program that you'll be studying towards either physio, um, OT or audio. They will take those or the other um, programs. They will combine those as well as your NBTs. They will combine those and then they will then using that um, faculty uh, point score, they will then decide if they do accept you into first year of medicine or not. So for example, let's say that you have registered with the university to study physiotherapy uh, and you have applied to get into medicine or MPCHP, right? So at the end of the year, um, you have applied, you have already applied to get into medicine. The university now has your final grade 12 results. They have your NPT test results and they also now have your physio end of year results. And let's say your physio end of year results are outstanding. You did well. Um, and there's also space in the first year program of MBCHP. The university will accept you into first year. They will not put you into second year. I will talk about this later in the video of how the university will put you in second year. I know it sounds a bit unfair that you have passed your first year of physio and you are supposed to move into second year of physio, but then the university accepted you into medicine and they are moving you back into first year of medicine to restart all over again. But here's the case, right? The program of physiotherapy and MPCHP are different and they share a common course, which is BP, becoming a professional, right? The advantages or the benefits of this, um, you will only do physical sciences in first year. You only do physical sciences, chemistry, and biology. You will not do um, becoming a professional. After doing physiotherapy, moving on into first year of medicine, you'll only do three courses and you'll be exempted from doing um, BP or becoming a professional. The same goes for occupational therapy, audiology, and the other faculty of health sciences degrees that I just mentioned. Because all these faculty of health sciences, they share one degree, which is becoming a professional. So let's go back to that example that we made of you doing physiotherapy and you applied into medicine and now you have your final end of year results and you have met the minimum requirements, your marks are good, but the university still rejects you. If you still want to go into medicine, you'll have to apply again. And let's say you are in fourth year of physiotherapy or in your final year of physiotherapy, occupational therapy, speech language pathology in your final year, and you still want to go into medicine. It doesn't matter whether you're in your third year, second year, fourth year, of um, audiology, speech language, um, pathology, occupational therapy, they will move you back into first year. I know it sounds a bit unfair, right? Um, I mean, if you want to make it into medicine, why not? At the end of the day, you'll become a doctor and that's what you want. Now, let's move on to another option that you could take. Um, is that, let's say you are in another institution um, other than UCT, you're in another higher learning institution other than UCT and you are applying into MBCHP and um, what the university does is that they will take your final um, grade 12 results, your NBT results, as well as your final end of year um, results that you're doing at that in specific institution they will then calculate um, a faculty point score and they will then consider if they will accept you or reject you. You need to have a good academic record and a satisfactory conduct from a previous institution when applying into UCT. On top of that, you also need to submit an interim academic transcript certificate of good conduct. The reason why I said that you do not need to rewrite your NBTs is because your NBT results remain valid for two years. After that, they become obsolete or they expire. 
so let's say it has take it has been two years since you have written your nbts and you're still applying to make it into medical school into mbchb you will then need to rewrite your nbts let's say you did apply into uct but your second choice was not any of the faculty of health sciences courses let's say for example you picked something like bsc or bachelor of science what you could do is that you can select an elective course um, as BP or becoming a professional in the first semester and during your second semester you can also select your um, your, your elective course as BHP which is becoming a health professional so what this does is at least I'm not saying it entirely but it at least increases your chances of making it into a faculty of health sciences course like mbchp because um you have done your bp and bhp in first and second semester um when you move into mbchp the following year in first year remember just because you passed at the end of the year your first year and you have to move into second year of bsc does not mean that you will then move into second year of medicine no you still go back to first year so now the advantage is that again you will not do bp and BHP in first and second semester of medicine in first year. So that is the advantage of that. Remember when I mentioned, I will tell you how to transfer into second year of MBCHP. So now is the time. So what happens is that you need to have completed an approved undergraduate or postgraduate degree. You also need to have met the tertiary applicant criteria that I just mentioned before. And given that there is space in second year of MBCHP, that's when you can be offered a place and accepted to transfer into second year of medicine. So let's say now that you have met the criteria, um, you have completed an approved undergraduate or postgraduate degree and your results are outstanding. Um, what happens is that the university will then move you into first year of medicine if there's no space in second year of MBCHP because there's nothing they can do. There is no space, though you will then unfortunately have to move into um, first year, start all over again. An example of an approved undergraduate degree is Bachelor of Science in Human Physiology. Another example of an approved postgraduate degree is Honours in Neurophysiology. But as long as you have the approved um, undergraduate degree that I just mentioned, Bachelor of Science in Human Physiology, that is an example, you can be moved into second year of medicine and you don't have to redo everything fresh from first year. Well, unfortunately in this life, there is nothing that comes easy. You have to attain everything through hard work. Easy come, easy go. And I hope that you work hard in your journey and I wish you well in your medical journey and in the journey that you're about to embark on. That is all from me for today. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, and don't forget to share this video. Thank you. Bye.